Horror is scary, but that's the point. Shut up. But because my feelings about horror are about as complicated as the logic behind hey. Waluigi's name, I've never actually made a horror game. Until now. Yeah, you're gonna want to stick around for this one. <laughs> Wow, scary edit. So I joined the Brackies game jam again, and this time the theme was, it is not real. Just like my will to live. What I eventually come up with was inspired by a book that I'm currently reading. I won't tell you which book, cause that would ruin both the game and the book, if you're familiar with it. But I just knew that I really wanted to mix that concept with horror. And since I've never made a horror game before, I'm obviously an expert on the field. <laughs> Here's the idea. You're in a house, in a room, and whoever you're expecting there to be, isn't. You have to try to survive, waiting for this person to return, while entities try to kill you. That is probably the vaguest, yet most specific explanation that I can give you. Secret story stuff. Oh, and yeah. Five Nights at Freddy's. Why? I'm terrible at art, as you all undoubtedly know. So I took some time to touch grass and thought of some ways to solve this. And then I looked at my camera as I procrastinated filming for another video and realized, what if instead of making a bunch of terrible art, I make everything so much worse for myself by taking a bunch of pictures of my room and making the game with that? That right there, that was a mistake. So here we go, a bunch of pictures and even a video and wait, what's that? Do you, do you see that? What's that over there? Uh, right there. So I imported all the pictures into Unity and then I made it look spooky by abusing the post-processing system rather than actually doing something in Photoshop. And then I still put some of them in Photoshop to combine certain pictures to make more sense and then... No joke. That shot actually scared me. I felt very uncomfortable suddenly. <laughs> the rest was actually quite self-explanatory. I made an object that decides what image to show based on where you are in the room, and then it shows the right buttons that will bring you to any other part of the room. Then I yoinked a bit of code for another project to show the dialogue. All in all, the mechanics weren't that hard. Apart from the times that it went terribly wrong, of course. Whoa, it's the subscribe bug. You have to subscribe now. The main part of the game, besides the hidden story that I really hope someone will try to figure out is the entity that tries to kill you which meant that i needed to make an ai oh crap yes this is the five nights at freddy's portion of the game i too am very disappointed in myself i shall jump off a cliff now so technically it's just one enemy but it can attack from three different spots at once because i wanted it to fight me it can come from the bed the door or the window and when it does you're dead I just have it wait a random amount of time at each spot until it goes to its next phase and if you don't stop it in time, it's game over. The one at the window can be stopped by closing the window, the one under the bed can be stopped by playing music, which is such a cool idea and I'm not biased at all. And the one at the door can be stopped by closing the door. Ow, I bit my tongue again. But there are consequences to your actions. This is FNAF after all. But still, it's my favorite part of the entire game. You're an anxious little b Every time you have the door closed or you play music, your anxiety increases. And the more anxious you are, the shorter it takes for it all to just get too much and before you know it. But if you survive until the slider fills up, you win! So the gameplay is done at this point, just a bunch of bug fixes and some sound effects, which was a lot of fun to make actually. Very fun. The game is called Alan Still, because you are in Alan's room. Again, there is a whole story happening that I would love for you all to just try and find out. Let me know your thoughts and theories in the comments below, I would love to see it. You can play the game for free, of course, link will be in the description below. I am very happy with how it turned out. It is definitely outside of my comfort zone, but I had so much fun making this game. So go give it a shot, let me know what you think. I look forward to hearing it. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, if you did, hit that like button and subscribe for more. I'll see you all next time. Bye!